Dear students, welcome. Today we look at double entry bookkeeping and we specifically look at some examples which cover income neutral events. Just for repetition, here you see the structure of a T account. We have the debit side on the left side and the credit side on the right side. And you remember, if I know the structure of the uh, balance sheet, then I know where to book what in a book account. So for asset accounts, increases are booked on the left side, on the debit side. For capital account, because they are on the right side in the balance sheet, it's just the opposite. So we book decreases on the debit side. And on the credit side, we book decreases um, of assets and increases of any accounts which you find on the right side of the balance sheet, any capital accounts. So what we see here is again the structure of the balance sheet. Here we have increases for asset accounts on the left side, decreases on the right side, on the credit side, and just the opposite for capital accounts, decreases on the debit side and increases on the credit side. Let's look now at some example book records. We start with a book record where a company buys office supplies for 400 euro and pays these office supplies in cash. When we look at the consequences of this financial event or relevant event, then we first see we have an increase in office supplies because we have more office supplies than before. The value is 400 euro, so we have an increase in an asset because office supplies are recorded on the left side of the balance sheet, so we already know that we have to book office supplies as an asset and then we have to book it to something. And the second basically consequence is we pay it in cash, so we have a decrease in cash. And a decrease in cash it is also a decrease in an asset because cash is also recorded on the left side in the balance sheet, so we book it to cash. And the amount is also clear, it's 400 euro. And this happens, of course, on both sides of the accounts. So overall, we see we have an asset swap because one position on our asset side increases by 400 euro and the other side decreases by 400 euro and we have no income relevance here. Let's go for another book record. So we had an asset swap in the last example. Now we will look at a little bit different uh, constellation. A company buys something again, raw materials, for 900 euro, but this time it is not paid in cash, it's bought on credit. So the consequences on the asset side are kind of the same, only we have another account, of course, and another amount, but we have an increase in raw material by 900 euro, an asset increase, so it's very clear that we have to book raw materials on the left side of our book record. So it's something too. And then we have now in an increase in liabilities because we, pay, we bought this on credit. So, and liabilities are on the right side of the balance sheet and we have an increase in liabilities. And you remember, if you look at the um, concept of double entry bookkeeping, if we have an increase for something which is on the right side of the balance sheet, then we book this on the credit side. So it's basically accounts payable and the sum here is 900. Euro. So this is our book record and that basically summarizes the entire event. Overall, we have a balance sheet extension here because raw material increase our asset side and the liabilities increase our liability side. So that means the sum of the balance sheet grows by 900 euro on each side. So we have a balance sheet extension here. Next example, here a customer pays an outstanding invoice for final products delivered in the last financial period. 
The consequences is when our customer pays us, we have an increase in cash. So an asset increase, it's very clear that we book here on the debit side. So we have cash to something and beforehand our customer owed us money and this we book as a receivable. And this receivable is also recorded on the left side of the balance sheet so it's an asset decrease here and by 800 because now the customer does not owe us money anymore so it's cash to receivables 800 euro and again it's an asset swap and has no income relevance. The next example covers a company which pays an outstanding invoice for raw material of a supplier. So now I'm basically on the owing side here. So the consequences is if I pay something my liability goes down in this case by 900 euro and if a liability decreases if you remember the structure of the balance sheet liabilities are on the right side a decrease so it happens on the left side on the debit side. At the same time I pay in cash so I have a decrease in cash by 900 euro as well so I have an asset decrease and this happens on the credit side on the right side because cash as an asset is on the left side of the balance sheet. So the book record is accounts payable to cash 900 euro and overall our asset side the cash goes down by 900 euro and also the liability side of our balance sheet goes down by 900 euro we have a balance sheet contraction here. The last example for this video a company agrees with the main bank to convert short-term debts of 10,000 euro into a long-term loan. So what do we have here? Both happens on the right side because we just change the nature of a liability from short-term into long-term. We have a decrease in a short-term liability by 10,000 euro, a liability decrease which we book then on the debit side. So what happens here, we book short-term liabilities and then we have an increase of long-term liabilities. So we have a liability increase and that happens because liabilities are on the right side, happens on the credit side because liabilities are on the right side of the balance sheet to long-term liabilities and it is 10,000 euro and of course here it must also be another zero. Overall we have a liability swap because everything happens on the right side of the balance sheet. The one liability goes down by 10,000 and another liability goes up by 10,000 and overall the sum is zero so there's only a swap on the liability side. So what you have learned is for all cases which are not income relevant or income neutral, asset swaps, liability swaps, balance sheet contractions, balance sheet extensions, how we do the book record according to the concept of double entry bookkeeping. Thank you very much.